Melania Trump. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was supposed to be a defining moment. I'm so proud of your choice for President of the United States, my husband, Donald J. Trump. Melania Trump on her success story as an immigrant and love story with her husband. But instead of party pride, it's plagiarism being talked about. A passage in her speech last night, very comparable to Michelle Obama's 2008 convention speech. Hamilton County's Republican Party Chair Alex Triantafilo tells me it's something they'll have to overcome. It might require an apprentice moment with the speechwriter. You know, uh, uh, it seems to me like somebody let her down in, in doing that, but I don't think it has any major impact on his ability to win election, and it doesn't say anything about his ability to, to lead the country. Yeah, a lot of people were talking that same way. Many high-ranking Republicans wanted somebody to pay for it, wanted somebody to be fired for what happened last night in that Melania speech. But Donald Trump coming out late today saying not only will nobody be fired, but nobody will be disciplined either. Cherie? All right, Mike, it's refreshing at least to hear Alex's very candid response with you today. And I know you've been all around Cleveland yep. talking with delegates. How do they feel about Donald Trump, the nominee? Well, obviously, Cherie, you've got a majority of the people who support Donald Trump here, but it, it's pretty close, something like 60-40 from uh, some of the people who I've walked around and spoken with. They say they love the pep rally atmosphere. They love the fact that there was a little bit of Hillary bashing last night. But the people who are on the 40 percent side say enough of that. They want the next couple of nights to be for Republicans to stand up there on center stage and lay out a vision for the future. No more tough talk. They want action. They want a plan for if their man is, in fact, in the White House. So the next couple nights through Thursday, very important to see how Republicans set things up. Cherie? Yeah, even some diehard Republicans, I know, telling you they're maybe still a little on the fence. Mike Dardis, live for us tonight in Cleveland. We will chat a little bit more tonight at 6 o'clock. Thank you, partner.